Hey everyone, welcome back to GFX Rhino. Today we're going to be taking a look at a pretty common error you might be getting with your Roblox GFX in Blender, and that is the purple texture error. Um, this can happen to anything, it doesn't just have, uh, have to be a rig, it can also be if I go into render preview, you can see even my HDRI that I'm using for lighting is completely purple as well, and it can happen to any other models or really anything you are using textures on. We're going to be covering what causes it, how to avoid it in the future, and obviously we're going to be covering how to fix it. This is going to be a pretty quick video uh so let's just dive right in so as you can see here with my rhino rig v2 which you can get at gfxrhino.com by the way if i go into my um render preview you can see the textures including the hri and everything are working completely perfectly but if i go ahead and hide that you will see this is my files v2 folder so this is the um rhino rig right here and then we've got our hdri and our characters texture right here if i actually go ahead and move these out of the folder and then i reopen blender you will now see that the textures are going to be completely purple if i go into to material preview you can see the textures are completely purple including the hdri and that is obviously because we did just move it out of where it was so this error happens when blender can't find your texture files whether that means you moved it out of where they were or you deleted them or if you actually move your blend folder uh, a blend file itself it will also mess up your textures so to avoid having this issue in the future always keep your texture files organized and in the same location if we actually look right here i've actually just got a portfolio folder where I've all my different projects and then inside of any of these we'll go to car drift for example you can see I've all the different characters and their textures and stuff all organized I've got the blender file right here and everything is just completely organized I've got all the different final versions I've got the Photoshop one and all the different other models and everything all in one folder this is a great way to keep it organized I know a lot of people actually keep their files for their projects just in their downloads which is not a good way to do it because obviously your downloads folder is somewhere where you are downloading lots of fi files to there so what they can do is they can actually overwrite each other and then you'll just lose your textures they'll be messed up you might delete your downloads you know some of the things in your downloads folder it's just not a good way to keep it organized obviously you don't want it all messy all over your desktop either so the best way to do it in my opinion is to have it all organized in a big folder like this if you are planning to move around your files at all there is actually a way to make sure your textures stay in the right place so let me just um put my textures back and reload blender real quick what you can actually do to avoid this issue in the future is you can go up to file and then you can go down to uh, external data and then you can go pack resources now what this is going to do is it's going to pack all of your textures and your hdris and everything all into the blend folder blend file i mean sorry so it's going to make the blend file a little bit bigger but obviously you can then move it around and it'll be completely fine so if i go ahead and do that i go external data pack resources and then i go Control s to save it and then i just go ahead and delete both of my textures and stuff and then i reopen blender you should now see that the textures are going to be completely fine so this texture is still there and if we go into uh, render preview the hdri is still there even though i deleted both of my textures and as you can see now it is um it got it used to be one megabyte and now it's like 24 so it does get quite it can make your file size quite large but it does now mean you can go ahead and move your uh, blender file around wherever you want and your textures will uh, will remain completely fine and that is an amazing thing I, I know a lot of people don't actually know that but yeah going up to file external data and then pack resources you, you can also unpack them which as you can see um if you do in current directory you'll see now that your textures are exported to a folder like that and these that you've got both of your textures back just like that so that is how to avoid it in the future is by packing your textures into the blend file or just keeping your textures all organized and in one place now you, you might already be able to guess how to fix it because it is pretty simple and it is literally just to get your textures back so if you deleted them let's say you put them in the recycle bin you can then go into your recycle bin and you can search up whatever the name of the textures were you can bring them back and put them back wherever they were it might also mean you need to re-export for example if it was your character te character's texture that is missing uh, you might have to re-export it or re-download a model if your textures are missing off of a model or just get a new hdri so really the best way to fix it is to just not even have the issue in the first place by keeping everything organized and there you go the textures are back and your purple texture error is gone if this video was helpful to or make sure to like and subscribe join the gfx rhino discord server link in the description below and check out gfxrhino.com for your completely free roblox gfx asset i will see you all next time goodbye